at the entrance of Grosso uh, Park today. This is this is on the pretty far northwest of the city. Uh, this is pretty a pretty amazing park. Uh, it's, as you can see, it's used by the public. shows how weak the standards are in this country, but uh, let's get some readings and uh, we just want to shed some further light on this. Remember, uh, the, uh, the cellar radiation, uh, the effects are cumulative over time. And since the 80s, the cancer rates have almost doubled in Canada. So uh, that's a warning sign that something's not right here. This is one issue among many others. Uh, we did a thing on the budget, uh, but all these issues are connected and we believe the focal point is what's called the Great Reset that's being uh, uh, talked about at the World Economic Forum. But you see across the street that tower there, it's pretty egregious. Sorry, the wind's loud today, but we wanted to go ahead with this regardless. levels are well above what they should be and again it's a cumulative exposure we're measuring the radiation from that tower are you actually yeah we're is concerned it, it about bad? it it is bad oh. look here look here okay and do all towers just like that it, it depends the on the of? tower they have different power output that one has a lot of antennas on it uh and it's a cumulative health effects over time oh. and children are the most one of the most vulnerable groups mm. so just get informed on it are you planning on doing anything about it oh uh, yeah we are but you know it's coming out of the federal government and they've been in bed with the telecommunication industry so right. it's a difficult issue to deal with yeah. we're not against technology but uh we Who's put we? Yeah. nca oh, okay. national citizens alliance so oh, okay. so but uh we're concerned about public health okay. so we do uh we've been doing a lot of readings so we saw this tower i was over here visiting some friends so we thought we'd do some readings so there's the readings there. So you would call that high. Okay. That's extreme. Um, it's peaking out over 30. Can I film you by chance? No, no I didn't. I didn't. All right, there you go. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's pretty extreme. The readings aren't lying. We're at this point now and the meter's basically maxed out. And this is just another example of so many uh, in Canada, in the US, around the world. Uh, massive deployment and uh, it is what it is, but we got to document it. Uh, I realize it's windy today, but we wanted to do the, the video regardless. I hope you can hear me. But this is one issue of many that's all interconnected. And it's another uh, issue we got to wake Canadians up on. Uh, these are being deployed. They're going to be upgraded to 5G. Uh, the radiation is going to be 10 times higher. And that's not good for public health at all. Yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. 
Uh, you can buy these, Michelle, online. Uh, we're using a dry meter. We have a boost meter that we're going to use. Eventually, we're going to want to update to a 5G meter, but we're waiting. Uh, 5G is not deployed in Canada, even though there's some cell phones that says they're getting 5G, but they're, we don't believe they are. So we're looking about a year or two, two years down the road before that deployment takes place. So they want to be able to track your every movement, yes. What's going to happen when they have a digitalized, centralized currency through the central banks? Imagine the tracking going on there of every transaction you make. Uh, and that's uh, something that's coming. What they're doing in China now too is they're, <laughs> you have a savings account and they're giving you a month to two to spend the money before it actually, they take the money away. So they're manipulating people to consume. So this is uh, existential attack on individual freedom around, around the world. Uh, this great reset and uh, it's tied to UN Agenda 2030, 21 and uh, it's reality. Uh, the financial component is probably the worst uh, because uh, they're going to control what you spend and where you spend. Yeah, 5G is bad, uh, but we don't even we don't even have the, the radiation levels. But we do know it's going to be 10 times more than what we're seeing today. Uh, we're looking at 3G, 4G today, and it's already extreme. So we're going to continue updating this. Uh, there's also a surveillance grid that's being um, deployed uh, incrementally and we're going to document that as well. This isn't made up and uh, it's very concerning for everyone, not only in Canada, around the world, what they're up to and uh, we just got to keep documenting and hoping, hoping um, to wake up more people. The more people awake, uh, then we got more power. So uh, please share this. Thank you everyone.